Hello everybody and welcome to the 2020 school on uh, P-Forest, uh, software and algorithms that I and uh, many others are working on. So hello and uh, welcome again. We are at uh, 35 participants, which is uh, great. Thanks to everybody for coming along with this uh, modified format. We were, of course, planning this as a real life presence workshop, which um, was not allowed due to uh, political measures. So we um, chose to change it to this online format. And um, I'm quite happy with the way this turns out. I hope you will be enjoying it too. My name is uh, Carsten Burstedt. I work here at the University of Bonn um, for just about nine years now. And I um, like to say hi. I'd also like to um, thank my fellow organizers and speakers for um, running this uh, with me. So those are Lucas Wilcox, Tobin Isaac, Donna Calhoun and um, Timo Heister. We will all have them appear this week during the lectures. So if there's um, anything at all that you want to say or spontaneously remark or anything goes wrong technically, please um, use your microphone button and just um, say something. You can also just um, activate your video to make me notice that you may want to say something, uh, which is fine. So I welcome any questions, contributions. Um, I'd actually like it if this becomes just a little bit interactive. I just don't want to just talk to um, the screen here for forever and not see anybody since I'm, I'm so happy we have that many people from all over really. So you may have noticed the times are uh, 17 to 20 um, German summertime, which is to accommodate both um, West Coast uh, United States and um, making it not too late into Asia. So I apologize for those um, for whom it is really too late or too early. But this is the only way we could really um, pull this off here um, to have everybody join. Update, you see uh, we're at uh, 39 users, which I am really excited about. So I want to thank my sponsors. Um, at the University of Bonn, we have a German uh, Center of Excellency. That's what it's called by the research um, ministry and uh, it's called Hausdorff Center for Mathematics. Let me show you the web page. So this is, uh, this is my, my center that uh, sponsors this, uh, this workshop and would have sponsored uh, most of your trips in real life. So um, um, thanks um, to HCM and the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, who is the funding body of the German government for scientific research. If um, there's anything you want to um, tell us, uh, please email to pforest at ins.uni-bonn.de. I'm just pulling up this uh, web page here, which uh, I've put together not only for this workshop, but also for the software. In general, you see in the top right, there's a school link where you see the latest information. So again, there's this, the thanks notices, um, there is the official center's homepage for this event, which you can um, you can check um, for all the participants' information. Let me just see if it comes up here or not. Maybe later. So, so this is the schedule. You've seen it before, I guess, right? So I'm um, I still will activate Thursday, of course, in due time. We are. At Monday, um, this is uh, myself, and then there, there'll be the next slot will be a brief tour of the software and algorithms P Forest, and then we'll have Toby up at 1900 tonight to tell us about the interaction of um, P Forest and Petsy. Let me look if any of the organizers are present. So the only person I see is uh, Donna right now. Donna Kellun, hello Donna. Can you can you say hi if you want to? Is 
if you have your technology together, um, I'm not sure I can see your microphone. We can also wait a little bit and you can say hi in a couple of minutes. Um, Toby will join, uh, join later today. As I said, uh, you'll see Timo tomorrow. Uh, Lucas will be up on Friday. So if you're interested in accelerator programming, device offloading, GPU interaction and um, code generation, then uh, make sure to check in on Friday here with Lucas. It will also be cool to have Toby talk about the interaction of uh, Beforest um, from the Petsy software. Petsy is a really well-known linear algebra solver and also distributization package open source software. All we talk about this week is open source uh, free software. And um, Toby will give us some insights into Petsy. Um, and knows a lot more about that than uh, myself, actually. He is one of the core developers by now. There will be Donna, as I said, and Timo working on other packages that interface to Pforos, namely Forest Claw and DL2. DL2 is another really well-known final element open source software. So going back to this. So whenever you're wondering about something, I'll try to keep this website up to date as much as I can. You see that I've started to put together tutorials. So down here, we have uh, several and I'll go into them later. You, um, there will be more and maybe even some more, I hope. So um, feel free to just go through this, read through it, work on it, do something. We have three hours of uh, presentations and discussions here. And the other 21 hours, I think, are really well in invested if you can just spend as much time as you like on these tutorials and exercises, right? So it begins by building the software with a bunch of instructions. And then there are, there are actual exercises. So exercises are in, uh, in bright green here. And uh, whenever you go through these tutorials, you can just uh, go to work and work on the software. So I assume all of you have uh, some knowledge of programming and can can find their way around these things. So lots of this will depend on self-study, on experiments, on just doing something, trying to figure it out. I just can't tell anything um, in a very complete way, of course. Of course, I'll try to get you started the best way I can and the best way my fellow speakers can. Um, hopefully you can take away a whole bunch of uh, inside information that is otherwise not documented or hard to get with the software. I will also talk on the theory. This is tomorrow, 18, um, since uh, this is not just the software. The, the whole idea is based on certain uh, logical mathematical concepts that are actually inherent to the whole design of the software that uh, make it um, efficient and fast, as far as I can tell. And this is due to, um, to being really, really strict on certain concepts and not allowing anything to get in the way that would slow things down, that would make things complicated, that would make things interact too much or depend on other um, structures or data or applications. So we try to be modular and flexible and self-contained. And I will, I will go into some of that, the, the, the mathematical ideas that are behind this um, in slot 22 tomorrow. So in terms of um, material, I said there are, there are tutorials. We may link documentation and things. A lot of the documentation is in the source code, at least for Pforest. Um, do not be afraid to read into a .h file because some of those comments are actually the best place to find exactly the information you need. And also if you choose to look into the source.c files, you will see that at least uh, the call conventions and the parameters are illustrated quite well if you just um, superficially look through the, the C code. And also some of those uh, smaller functions are actually quite nice. Um, but I will i don't expect that you do that right now. It's probably better to just do a bit of a top-down approach trying to go through these uh, tutorials. I did have a lecture this uh, past summer term here and um, those were nine or 10 sessions. I've just uh, taken a couple of those 
um, and put them online here on, on that YouTube channel, which you can, uh, can see from the links. Um, and this is the part of the lecture where I really go into the, the theory and the, the logical structure of what I'm, I'm doing in this software and what is the basis for everything. So you can uh, look into that on the site, you can just watch it later or just take it as, um, as an addition to the theory part that I'll um, talk about tomorrow. Um, so feel free to comment on anything if there's anything unclear, if there's something you don't understand maybe because it's just badly presented, please let me know. Let me check the list of participants again. Welcome again to everybody. We are at the 42, which is very impressive. Um, there is a question from Yadong Zeng. This uh, school will be recorded. I am actually recording my presentations. I am not sure if the other presenters will record their presentations. You see there is this recording button and this big blue button interface, which I will not be using because that would be using your videos and your a microphone what I will be doing instead is just recording the picture that I'm sharing right so this uh, this picture that you're seeing on my screen is what I'll put on um, on YouTube as well afterwards so yes I'm not sure about the other speakers uh, please um, just um, just ask them if you if you need anything from them right um, and of course I encourage the others to uh, make as much material as they can um, available online and I'll be happy to link everything on this on this web page for future reference so this web page will stay online in the future um, we hope this grows into some reference for the software and the general idea and will um, will just grow continuously and be, be a source of information that is useful so this web page is uh, mirrored the same way on bforest.org Which you see here. So um, it is uh, this web page is, is a Git repository. So if you want to, you can watch this uh, Git repository for the web page online and follow. And then you see whenever um, I update anything on the web page. It's not like there will be um, like a great bunch of activity all the time, right? But uh, every once in a while, I'll try to also update a bit more on the gallery, which I hadn't gotten around to and uh, so on. So we, in the schedule, we do not have a um, Q&A session explicitly, but um, I expect that um, all the lectures and parts will have um, questions and answers if, whenever people feel like it, right? So my idea is to just uh, put up your video, put up your microphone and, uh, and let us know, or just chat if there's, there's a question. And we'll try to discuss with you, since since I'm very curious on on how everybody out there sees before us, what it's um, good at, what it's maybe missing, and um, which parts are easy to figure out and which parts are just um, not making sense at first glance. So they require a lot of uh, learning or some some complicated process. If there's anything, I'm I'm really happy to learn about how you perceive the software, the algorithms, how your experience is using it, what uh, your plans are, for example. So um, I'd like to, to just have some 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 kind, of, some kind of back and forth here. We will have we have um, a second room in this um, video conference software. You got a, an email with two links. This is the main room where we will have all the sessions. The second link is for a breakout room where just everybody can hang out and go for coffee. Right. So um, it's not like. Um, I or the other speakers will be there all the time um, and we don't intend to be there as, as some kind of supervision person. Um, it's really just for, for people to discuss and to, uh, to exchange ideas and to, to hang out. Um, I think some of us may be there. Yes, we can have tea or you can do um, whatever you feel like um, in that breakout room. It's open so you don't need me to go in there. You can just uh, click on that link and you can, you can have it, right? So uh, please feel free to um, just hang out and enjoy and meet everybody. We have people from really all over the world. We have people from, from America, India, China, from various other countries. Um, so this is all very exciting. We, we have actually 60 registrations plus. 
So this is more than we could have done um, in real life here. You can also prepare questions and email them to us. We will be happy to look into those um, offline and then come back with the answers in subsequent lectures. I do have a Twitter account, which I'm not really using. So if you want new stuff, um, it's probably best to um, check the Beforest GitHub I.O. webpage that I'm um, presenting right now. Um, I also, usually in these workshops, we will go for, for a walk and go to a place where everybody can eat uh, cake or have tea and coffee and beer and so on. I had uh, reserved a very traditional Cologne brew pub for Thursday night. Uh, of course, we will not be able to meet there, which is uh, really sad. Um, I would have liked to show you around in Bonn and maybe in, in Cologne, the next biggest town here. So we may be able to do some of that next year. I'm not sure about next year exactly. We're discussing um, what we're doing, how everything may be um, constructed, but that is independent. So this week we're just focusing on, on this week. And if there are updates here on the 21, you will see it on the web page and we will have a, a whole separate process of application and so on. So for now, I'm again welcoming you to this 2020 event, which is this online event. To make up a little bit for this walk, I think I'll just do a live stream on YouTube on Friday at 15 to show you around here on, uh, on Bonn campus. If you feel like it, um, I can just take my phone and walk around and stream on YouTube and um, show you my building and uh, the university area here and um, see what it's like if the weather is nice. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a replacement for the social event on, on Friday. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. In terms of um, just administrative information, I'm um, pretty much done. I'm wondering if um, Donna wants to say hi real quick. Well, thanks, Donna. Um, hi to you, too. And we'll be excited to hear your first lesson tomorrow at 17. So that's all going to be great. Um, while we're at um, video introductions, you see, I finally loaded this web page here. And there are the participants. So what about the following experiment? Um, those, um, again, I'm not recording anybody else's video or sound. You would actually see if I did that because this recording button would turn red. So I'm not doing that. Um, but what I really would like is to um, have everybody say like 20 seconds why they're here, who they are, maybe just their name and, and wave, or if you want, you can tell us a little more about what you're up to. If um, you, you, of course, you don't need to participate in this experiment, but um, I would suggest you open this web page here on uh, the list of participants, and then we proceed in the exact order of this list. We have a unique sequence of people, and then um, the say next three or four will um, activate their video, and then when it's their turn, they can say hi, um, say their name, their name and whatever else they, they feel they want to share. And then when they're done, they can just turn off their video again. Okay, due to time and not seeing another video right here, I would say thanks to everybody for this first session and thanks for willing um, uh, to share your, your own uh, video and information. So I'm, I'm really glad this, uh, this, uh, this came together this way. Um, I'll sign off for, for just a couple of minutes and be back at, uh, at uh, 18 as announced with uh, session number 1, 2 or 12, a brief tour of P-Forest by myself. So just uh, give me a couple of minutes and I'll see everybody uh, very soon here. Thanks.